Hello everybody, welcome back to iCraft SMP and welcome back to the chicken farm which has since moved over with the donkey because I have laid out this area which is pretty darn convenient to be for my industrial sized AFK chicken farm and yes we are still going to be searching for a desert, I'm pointing that out. But I also wanted to point out that I'm going to be doing some off camera work and building an AFK chicken farm. I'll probably, you know, like pop on here and there and just kind of show you my progress as we kind of go along in this episode here. So let me start off the first part of this episode just by, you know, getting things started right here. Alright guys, stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, turns out I found some horses and spotted horses, some more other kind of horses. This is kind of cool. This is hovering around like minus 410 and minus 1800. So the only problem I've got with these guys is how am I going to get them back without them drowning in the water? That's my, oh geez, that's my only real big dilemma here. And I haven't quite figured that out. I don't think I have a sunflower. You know what? I think I do. Oh well. Anyway, so I haven't quite figured out how I can get them back. And by the way, this area here is like really nice looking for an area to be in. You know what I mean? It's kind of flat and everything. So yeah, so we're going to continue this way just a little, a little while. I want to tell you something about um, Y12, but Y12 in the nether. So I'm currently above a lava lake. I don't remember what number I'm at. Maybe like Y46 or something like that. And so if I were to lower my portal down to Y12, I may actually end up inside the lava itself. So... I'm not sure how I want to do that. At some point, they're going to move the portal system downward. Somebody's been here. I'm going to move the portal system downward somehow. But if I'm going to do that to match it up with town center portal, I'm going to have to go down to Y12 at minimum to try to match up with town center. If I don't do that, I have other alternatives, which is just to leave the portal hanging over the uh, lava lake and kind of go from that point and see what kind of things I can achieve with that. Uh, I'm gonna have to take down this tree. This tree is in my way right now. I mean, honestly, it's just it's just in my way. Yeah, I'm slowly trying to make my way to a desert that I, at least I think I know about, but it's it's a little bit cumbersome to kind of get to. And I already know it's going to get dark here. I brought a bed just in case to help me out with that issue. And I guess I could take the birch wood, but I'd rather not take birch, you know. At least not yet. I want to fill my inventory with things I don't need when I'm trying to get sand, you know. Okay guys, so I have created essentially the standard chicken cooker that pretty much everybody else in Minecraft likes to create because it works and is efficient. However, you notice what I did here is I stuck a second hopper on here because that is what gets you double the chicken, not only double the chicken, each one of these has like a 24 mob cap. So by putting on these, you have essentially 48 mobs that can sit on top of this stuff, as well as what's gonna be over here. There's gonna be 48 mobs that can potentially sit over here and get burnt by lava. Now, don't get me wrong, not every one of them is going to get burnt by lava. Only some of them will. And that is also another benefit to this too, because then I can also collect more eggs which is eventually going to go down in this chest here. And then I can collect more chicken that's going to eventually go down in this chest. And down below it... Thank you. Down below... Stop that. <laughs> thank you. Close, close, close. Okay, down below is eventually going to be another chest which is going to be filled with arrows. Or at least not arrows, feathers in the end of the day. And I'm going to need feathers because I don't have a skeleton farm anywhere. So this is the easiest and most convenient way to get more feathers in order to build arrows. And that way I can get more than 16 arrows to work with here. Especially if I'm going to be doing something in the nether. Alright guys, it turns out I'm just going to have to make myself a boat with this stuff. I mean, what else can I do, right? I can I can make a boat, I can do a few other things with this, but hey. I have an extra boat already back at base, but whatever. I'm going to make another boat here. Come on, crafting people. Come back to me. Appear in my inventory. It's gone for good, folks. What can I say? But yeah, the sun is slowly setting and... This crafting table is totally gone, really? I can't have it? Oh, that's screwy. Oh, there it is. It was in the boat the whole time. But anyways, yeah, so I kind of found the desert. As you can see, it is beaming in on me right here. But unfortunately, I have to take a boat to the desert. But this is actually a very nice looking desert. I like this. Look at this. Look at this craziness of this desert. That is like awesome. I think we'll have the boat over this way and dock around... I don't know, maybe around here or so. This this looks like a decent place to dock. I probably should take my boat with me just for safety's sake. And then eventually, ooh, I can get squiddies while I'm here. Oh, I wonder if I can leave myself enough space for that. We'll, we'll have to see and play it by ear. Let's go ahead and get off this boat, figure out a place where I can sleep. And then from there, see what I could do in terms of mining some sand in this area. And actually, it's already going to be pretty darn dangerous to begin with because look at this. 
There's a cave entrance like right here next to the sand. Also, in addition to this wonderful cave entrance, we need to find a way to get a portal to be here. So I'm going to have to find a decent place. Wow, that's so cool. It looks like a little egg. Find a decent place to put a portal. And actually, this lava? Oh, I'm so lucky. This is lava right here keeping everything nice and shiny. But yeah, maybe we should stick a portal up in here. So that way there is an easy way to reach the desert. That is hilarious. Pumpkins in a desert. What the heck? Who puts pumpkins in a desert? I don't even understand it myself. Okay, folks, I pretty much finished off the chicken cooker. And this is actually what it looks like when it's completely done, minus the bits of dirt that have to come back. And I'm going to actually take out some of this spruce here. Netherwood, I know where there is some, actually. I exactly know where there is some. Anyway, so I, all I have to do is get the chicken to climb up the ladder here. And then I eventually have to steal them off by getting him in the rest of the way. In fact, what I probably should do with this dirt pillar thing is... um. Probably started a little bit lower, so that way, that way they can actually get up here because I think I, I can get them to climb up here and then they can just sort of fall in. Yeah, that'll work better. And then they'll sort of fall in there and I'll figure out ways to do that. And actually, probably by taking this out, I can make that happen. The trick here is how not to get them stuck in the rest of the system. So hopefully they won't try to go that way, but hey, I'll, I'll see how that goes. Otherwise, the chicken cooker is about done, and I don't think I need this piece. Yeah, I didn't need this piece. Okay, good. So that means I could just stick this piece, like, somewhere else in the system. Do I need this one? Uh, no. I don't actually need that one. Okay, good. There we go. Much better. So let me go ahead and sleep and get... Let it, let me go ahead and answer a serpent question and get as many of these chickens up into the system, and we'll see how many of them can fit in here. So I'm not going to let you guys just, you know, watch me dig away. This digging just going to take me a while, but I will take advantage of the time to start talking to you guys, actually. Uh, oh, cool. I got a free cactus that way. Yay. I'm going to try to take advantage of as much space as I can get in my inventory. And as things break and whatever, maybe I'll go cut some trees down, collect some oak wood. You know, there's tons of oak over that way, some, some birch, etc. And just maybe take some of that out. Dude, looks like that's like a, a, a tornado right there just because it's part of the mountainside. Good job me for putting the, the render distance a little bit closer than I probably should. But yeah, so one thing I'm really enjoying right now is the Thanksgiving holiday is literally right around the corner. Okay, for me recording this, it is 11.22, the day before Thanksgiving. I actually recorded this a few days earlier, uh, Mondays when I started recording. But then I started having problems with like getting on the server. And from what Luke told me is we had a change of the server company. And the, the server company actually... I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. But there's like, I've been finding myself with way more glitches on this server that I've been doing here with the, with Season 4 than I ever have with Season 1, 2, and 3 combined. Now, keep in mind, I was not even on 1, so you can't even can't count that one, right? But 2 and 3, no glitches whatsoever. At least not like the weird things I've gotten on here. I mean, I've gotten like some weird lag issues where I'll just lag away and then it'll just shut down on me and stuff like that. So I spent two days trying to log in. Would you believe that? Yeah, two days just so I can start digging in the desert. Yay. By the way, for the folks who have just started joining in, why am I digging, digging in the desert with a, a cobblestone shovel? One, I don't want to waste my diamond. Two, I don't have mending yet. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's actually my next step. I need to start building an auto fish farm. But before I do, I need to actually build up my little mansion house place a little bit higher to a point where I know that I can actually put a fish farm on the second floor. That's what I want to. That's where I want to put my fish farm. Second floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we found a jungle. Look at that. There's a jungle on the edge of the desert. So actually, portal-wise, we should actually put a desert portal like right here. So that way it is super close to the jungle. Oh my god, look at that. It's right next to the river. That is awesome. Yeah, so maybe a portal like right over this way. Anywhere like right around here would be awesome. Now I need to get myself my butt back over that way because um I don't want to die and I can see myself dying here because I went too far away from my bed. I only have one bed. I don't have any more wool either to make up the difference there. But yeah, I want to see if I can find anything that looks remotely, if anything, I'm going to have to spend the night here, but anything that looks remotely like cocoa beans. That's what I'm looking for, cocoa bean. I see melon, but I don't see any cocoa beans yet. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody did harvested them all and didn't replace them. That would be like evil of them to have done something like that. Oh wait, there's cocoa beans right there, folks. I see it. 
Oh, I see even more way down there. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back for the bed. I'm gonna sleep in the bed, wherever I can sleep in that bed. And then I am going to go into the jungle, just a little ways into the jungle, gather some jungle wood, hopefully gather some jungle, you know, jungle sapling if I can. And then also take some time to like, you know, get some cocoa beans and stuff because that's usually important. Well guys, this is probably the hardest part, trying to get chicken to fall into the little tiny hole. Now I remember doing this in a way where I can just get more of them, but hey, this this works. I just have to kind of roam around this little hole and eventually they just all kind of tumble down there. But I think I have enough to actually get this going to where I have enough chicken that the rest should just die on their own. Especially once they overcome the cap, so let's see what happens here as soon as I get them all in here. But you can already hear the machine starting to work. And so this is excellent. So that means we're going to be heading to the desert. And this thing can just do its its merry chicken farming thingamajig while I'm at least here or at least building stuff. And this should be good. And then I will eventually connect my cow farm to this. Predominantly with like at least one piece of this. And I'll probably stick the cow farm maybe like right next to it. And what I'm going to do with the sheep and the, the pigs, I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't figured out how I want to work out the farm for those. But I definitely want to have a farm for those as well. There's parrots in the jungle. Look at how adorable they are. That's awesome. I don't know how to capture them. Um, I much. I, I probably should talk to Jen about capturing parrots and stuff. I uh, don't know what I would need to even do to even catch one or do anything with one. So, oh well. But yeah, I did take this down. Hopefully it's going to give me some kind of jungle sapling floating around here. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. And I'm, I'm probably going to have... Oh wait, there's one. Is that one? Yes, that is one. Okay, sacrifice some sand, I suppose. There we go. Some sand for some jungle. And now, if I can get three of three more of those, I can actually um, do something useful with that. And I can actually grow one of the big giant ones like this. And that will sustain me for quite some time if I grow the big one. I guess I'm going to take this one out. Why not? Guys, this is creepy as heck. Oh my god, I think I'm getting attacked. I can't really tell. What is in there? Oh god, yeah, I am totally getting attacked. That is that is as creepy as heck, man. Ah, you're burning me. Wait, really? Why? Why the lag, people? Okay, this is this is not good. Just die. All of you like die. Come on. Die. 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 Just just go. Go. Get away. Doesn't help to have this little bit of lag, you know what I mean? So I need to get through here. And there's like two ways. I can either go over and then fall or suffer with the consequence of creeperness, you know? I just need to get through this this little ravine area. I don't know what to do or what to say, but hey. Uh, I have a little lamp here I can use temporarily. And of course I have arrows, but oh god, just, this is just creepy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, run, run. Oh jeez, that scared the heck out of me. Run, 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 run. Please run. Okay, thank goodness. I made it to the other side. I don't know if there's one coming after me, but I'm just going to keep going until he, he ignores me. Jesus, that was scary. Okay, on the way to the rest of the way to my house. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our wonderful egg farm slowly filling up. Eventually, this will fill up with all the eggs I ever need here. Once it actually reaches this point, that's when I'll switch this on to start moving toward chicken. Right now, it's doing a little bit of a chicken, and it's got some chickens in there. I'm just going to let it slowly do its thing. By the way, the raw chickens that are in there are actually from the extra, extra bird that actually shouldn't have been in there, so... That's perfectly fine. We are now on our way to find a desert. I got everything I could possibly need to actually go see a desert with exception of inventory space. So I'm just going to get whatever I can in sand. Use that on this. And what I would love to do with this is convert that and make one of those in the nether right above the lava lake. I think that would look super cool. So let me get back to you about what that means for me in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start wandering away. And I'll meet you guys once I see some interesting stuff. I'm like a hundred blocks away from my house. There's my portal right there. You can actually see my portal. Can I make it without the sun like setting and mob spawning and everybody trying to kill me? Can I actually make it? Because I don't have a, an official bed. I took my bed out. So I'm kind of smart by not doing that, right? Totally. Totally not smart at all. Okay, can I make it? Come on, get up, get up. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Is there like no... Oh my god. I can't get up there. I'm like not smart at all right now. 
I'm totally like, I'm totally, oh my god. Okay, good, I got up. Now let's get up to Mark. There we go, I made it up, I made it up. Okay, oh god, hole in the, hole in the ground. Although that is nice to know, there's another cave system over that way. I think I made it. I think we're home free, folks. Yay, we're home free! Awesome! Well, guys, there we go. I finally have two whole sides done. I've only got 35 bits of black glass left. I'm gonna pretty much go on a hunt for squids. Uh, I'm just gonna make that work as I go as I go along through the episode. Eventually, I'll get enough squid to do what I need to do. But I think what we also need to do is make a path for to town as well for my little horse there, or at least my little buddy down there, uh, my donkey. And we also need to start to work on the house. And I think what I want to do with the house here is figure out where do I want to put the staircase for the upper floor. I mean, this is roughly the good height for the upper floor because check this out. If I really do the three window thing, one, two, and three, I will have all of this be window. And then this right here will be wall. And if I go three up, so one, two, and three, and that will put me at roughly, this will be the floorboard right there. And the bottom here will not be actual windows, by the way. It would just be a place to look out, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so the bottom of the floor, let me let me count this again, one, two, three. Yeah, the bottom of the floor will actually be this piece right here. And then the next level up will be that piece right there. And the question I have is, do I want two block levels between the two floors? So that way this potentially can do some fancy stuff on this side, but at the same time, I can actually stick lights in here, and then I won't have it interfering with the upper floor, and in the upper floor, I can actually stick floor lights in, and it won't interfere either, because this is where the, the upper floor will be at, and the floor lights will be really convenient, rather than it sticking out and doing other weird things, and so I think I've got the rough place of where I want things, but then also, where do I put my automatic fish farm? And I'm kind of thinking maybe I should put it right above the enchantment table. In the meantime, sun setting, and I will call it quits. If you guys liked this episode, if you finally like where this pyramid's going, not the pyramid, the tesseract, where the tesseract going, and you, I know you can see right through the other side, but it's going to get better. Honestly, when somebody finally builds that ocean monument, it's going to get so much better. It's going to look totally awesome. Oh, and that little block of dirt, i got to give it to that. That's actually going to become a light later on. So it's actually going to have a double light system. Anyway, so off I go. Find me on Twitter. Find me on Patreon. Find me not on Facebook. I need to work on that. I really do. Find me here on YouTube at Koi Gaming. And, of course, as always, we will see you next time. And I need to start to tear down my house, but I have no place for the bed. So maybe once I get, like, the in internal spruce walled up, I'll feel safe enough to not need uh, to have that right there anymore. Especially after I get my staircase in. Because then I'll have at least the spruce wall done for that, for that, and for whatever little bit the spruce wall still exists. Although I kind of like this one. Just super easy access right here. I might just find some other way to manage that portion. Alright guys, stay tuned. Bye! You know you have server problems when all your chickens are flapping the wings at the exact same time and you know there is some issue because this guy is not flapping. <laughs> I keep getting kicked for some reason. I'm trying to get this world to come back on so I can do something with the chicken cooker here. One day, right? One day. I think I got it. I think... Nope. Nope. It, it's not working.